Hi, my name is Markus and I'm a clinical physical therapist from Finland. And in this video I will teach you how to battle your neck stiffness with the proper levator scapula and muscle stretching technique. So you get better range of motions from your neck, less pain, less aches and you don't have to do the boring bath for you stretching technique that doesn't give you any results. And hit the like button and subscribe. Thank you. So this stretch that people tend to do when their necks are aching stretches the upper trapezius muscle and in our clinical experience the upper trapezius is mostly stretched already and it is too weak to carry your shoulder plate and your posture through the day. So don't kick the muscle while it's down, instead give it a rest and start to stretch the levator scapula muscle which is the real villain in this situation. <laughs> Levator scapula is one of the bad boys that gets really really stiff from static work. And nowadays when everybody is working from home with bad ergonomics, this is especially relevant. But before you can stretch it, you have to know where the muscle lies and what's the relevant and that anatomy <laughs> for this muscle. The levator attaches to your spinal column in your neck then attaches to the upper middle part of your scapulae aka shoulder blade and it is perfectly aligned to do the shoulder shrugging movement and when you are sitting in a bad posture it does a lot of low static work and this is the thing that gets it really really tight. Now Teemu will show you the proper technique and I will guide you through in detail. So lift your hand up so you can get the muscle pre-stretched. You can see when Teemu lifts his hand the shoulder blade rotates up and the point where the muscle attaches goes further from the neck pre-stretching the muscle. Now lean against the wall and start rotating your head further away and then take your chin down but keep your teeth closed so you don't compensate with your jaw. Okay, now if this is enough, keep it here but you can add a little bit of stretch with the free hand. Remember not to rip your head off, stretching intensity should be such that the sensation of a stretch starts to fade and after this you add a little bit of a stretch and then continue. So do this stretch 30 seconds per side and 4 times per side. And you can do this multiple times a day. So now you know how to do this like a master. Master of stretching. Yes. <laughs> few things to keep in mind when you are doing this. So for example if the hand that is lifted up starts to get numb, let it go, let it down, do the stretch in smaller parts, for example 15 seconds, 20 seconds, do more repetitions. It's good to do this uh, approximately two minutes at a time and there should be no pain while doing this if there's any pain Limit the range of motions, for example, don't turn your head as far or take the chin as down or you can uh, leave the hand a little bit lower. That's also okay. There should be no pain while stretching. Don't do this exercise if you have a muscle strain or sprain in the region that you are stretching or it's inflamed or infected or there's a wound or you have any fractures on the region or any other pathologies. Or when you start to do this, you get really dizzy and nauseous. Then go to the doctor and sort it out. Preferably do this daily. This is an excellent exercise to do at work, to get your blood flowing, to get a little bit of movement in. But remember, stretching is only a part of your neck and shoulder health. And there are lots of tips and tricks that will help you and if you want to learn more then remember to subscribe to this channel and we will see you on the next video. Ciao!